First of all, looking at the news this week, we're hearing about how um, Linux is being pulled from a lot of government computers mm-hmm. uh, and, uh, and being replaced with Microsoft Windows. And it made me think about your, your getting into your college courses and everything else and, and what is it like for uh, an end user who's not a, like a Linux guru to, to use Linux because I think that's really what's happening is that a lot of the users who have Windows machines at home, they go to work and it's a Linux machine and they don't quite know how to use it and so they've been complaining for 15 years kind of thing and so they're switching them back to Windows just to appease the masses. But what's it like for someone like yourself, you know, you're starting a college course and they present you with all the course curriculum and it's all Windows based? Well, it hasn't been an issue so far because I've been using LibreOffice for a decade. <laughs> right. So I already know that I have to be sure to save it as a docx file rather than .odt. Otherwise, other people can't open it if they're using Windows. So I already know to do that. I'm already familiar with it. I think for me, it would be the opposite. If I had to suddenly use a Windows computer, I wouldn't be familiar with Microsoft right. Word or Excel because I haven't used those in so many years. So it so would be the opposite for me. So the cost and the expense of, of them switching government computers from Linux to Windows is simply on account of people don't know that, hey, you can just save it as a docx mm-hmm. in order to make it compatible with Microsoft Office. Does yeah, that, if you didn't know that, then you'd always be dealing with, well, I can't open that file on yeah, my computer. Yeah, I, I don't have Word. Well, does it really matter? Like, do you find that it's a hindrance when your professor sends you a, a task and says, hey, do this PowerPoint presentation? Well, I don't have PowerPoint, right? It hasn't been a, an issue so far, but I do have one course coming up that's going to be learning Excel. Okay. So it's going to be all assignments done on Excel, which means I'll be using the Linux version. I forget what it's called. LibreOffice Calc. Calc, that's right. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I, I don't yet know if that's going to be an issue because uh, I don't know how similar the interfaces are. So it might be easy for me to figure it out on Linux versus uh, what's been demonstrated in class. Right. But because I haven't taken that class yet, I don't yet know. I think, you'll I find think it might be a bit of an issue as I'm first learning it. Yeah. Once I get the hang of how to mm. use the Libra Calc, it probably won't be a problem after that. Yeah, I think the, the Excel clone, if you will, is, is very, very good. Like, I'm, I'm always impressed with it. Um, I think they've done a great job, LibreOffice, of making a, a Microsoft Office alternative. Oh, yeah. It looks the same. It certainly looks Pretty the same. Pretty similar, yeah. So. You're used to, uh, you use a LibreOffice writer for writing, mm-hmm. and you collaborate with people who use Microsoft Office on Windows, and how has that been as far as transferring files back and forth, and you editing a Word document on LibreOffice, for example? Well, when they send me a Microsoft Word file, it just opens, no problem. But when I send them a file, I make, like I said, I make sure it's the docx file rather than .odt, yeah. because otherwise they wouldn't be able to open it. That's too easy. Yeah. That really is too yeah. easy. Any, any issues that you've, you've encountered? Um, as far as compatibility between the Windows and Linux counterparts? I haven't, well, like I said, I haven't really encountered issues yet. Mm-hmm. I, I think there might be some issues with Excel, but I don't yet know. We'll I think she'll be surprised. We'll circle back to this because I think the because uh, it's an Excel so, course. It's an Excel course. That's I can understand the hesitation and the fear of getting into an Excel course without Excel. Yeah, exactly. But wouldn't it blow people's minds if it's like, oh well, I can do everything the same? Yeah. Because I do I do equations. You've seen my like cryptocurrency portfolio and everything on on Excel or on yeah, Calc. it looks the same. So as long yeah. as. Uh, the navigation is pretty similar so that it's not hard for me to figure out where it is in Libra versus File, Excel. File, save <laughs> as. <laughs> yeah. We did encounter one issue, which was, um, was it was it in, it was in Calc, wasn't it? No, it was, where were, where were we having trouble with fonts? Only in that you, you it was oh, a right, demand of right. the course that you had to have Times New Roman. Yeah, just essays and things are supposed to be in so Times in New Roman. Writer okay. didn't have Times New it's Roman. It's like Word, right? right they didn't okay. have the, f- the required font, so we had to download the font. So on Linux, you simply, I mean, download the, the uh, now it's the MS 
four fonts. I think there's a package anyways that gives you the Microsoft fonts and installs it. But the, the reason for that is that Microsoft created fonts and included them with the Windows operating system. And so a Windows course is going to say, use these fonts because on their Windows machine, they have all these fonts like Arial, yeah. Times New Roman, mm -hmm. Comic Sans MS. And if they ever tell you to use that, laugh in their faces. <laughs> but so it, on Linux, it doesn't come with that because it's a Microsoft product, but you can install it easily enough. And it wasn't hard for us to do that. So no. and then it made it compatible for you. So that's cool. We'll circle back. I'd love to circle back and find out how things turned out on the oh, Excel the, course. There was the w a similar issue with the PowerPoint the font I used when you opened it, right? The font it, was messed yeah. up. So you. It wasn't messed up per se. It was. It was kind of like some of the bullet points were overlapping some of the paragraphs and things like that. But it was really, really yeah. easy to resolve. So I guess moving a file, it'd be interesting to see. You know, if you open that file on a wor uh, a Windows machine in PowerPoint, would it open differently? I guess the issue would be if you sent in the file not knowing it would not show up properly for the other person. Right. You'd and want to be sure before you send it in. And that can have, and that's probably why the course um, directors say use Times New Roman because they make the assumption that everyone's on Windows. And so with that assumption, it's safe to say that everyone has Times New Roman. So by saying that, they're not saying Times New Roman is a great font because um, it doesn't really seem appropriate for screen display. It's more for like newspapers. Mm -hmm. But um, by saying it, they know that everyone's document is going to come in and it's going to display the way it displayed on their computer because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's the same font. But, yeah. um, but that's really just by, by default. But, mm -hmm. So that could be part of it anyways. But Let's circle back in a, in a couple months and see how that, uh, how that shaped up for you. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd love to hear from you as to your um, compatibility experiences as well. Um, we're very Linux-centric here at the show, and uh, our household is very, very Linux-centric. I think we've got one Windows machine, just, and that's only uh, as of late. And it's probably been the most trouble of all the computers <laughs> on the network. But yeah. We're dealing with mm -hmm. idiosyncrasies of Microsoft Windows the hack 10. That Tally figured out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> do you want to tell them? Like, you have to, in order to get Netflix to work, you have to click on the start button first. Uh huh. Welcome to Windows 10. It makes no but sense. But she, whatsoever. we, he didn't figure that out. Our 13 year old daughter figured that out. She's a hacker. <laughs> She's going to be like her dad. <laughs> yeah.